is up my britches if you're new here hello my name is Brittany and today's video is my Sephora haul I, I I fucked up this time around guys I normally place my order the first day and I don't know why I didn't I fucked myself I missed out on things that I wanted but I went in store and I found other things that I didn't know that I wanted that I ended up getting. So I'm going to show you. It's a game of show and tell. We're just hanging out tonight. Hence why I have no makeup on. It's late. It's fine. But the sale ends tonight. So we had to get it up. That way if you guys see anything that you might want to throw in your cart before. Because I can almost guarantee as soon as I get done with this. You guys are going to tell me. Brittany you need this or something like that. And I'm going to add more things in the cart. Because it's just... It's the way the cookie crumbles, so all aboard the Hot Mess Express, everybody. And let's dive in to my Sephora haul. If you're unfamiliar with me and my channel, we do a lot of live streams over here. It's just a thing. And code yay save. I mean, it, it ends tonight, guys. You already know the tea. Like, you know all this already, right? I'm sure I'm preaching to the wrong choir. But regardless, don't forget to give this video a thumbsy, a thumb, thumbsy up. Wow. Okay, we're just we're just gonna ignore me today. If you're a nosy ass bridge like I am, give the video a thumbs up. And I got I got two bags. So I always tell you guys, don't be sleeping on Sephora Coles because I actually ended up finding things there that weren't in the other store. It's it's just a thing, guys. Don't sleep on Sephora Coles. All right, I'm just diving in because we got a lot to go through. First thing I grabbed, I actually grabbed one for me and my mom because I'm going on vacation soon. This is from Sol de Janeiro. It's the Jet Set. So I actually have one of these and I keep this for my toiletries when I travel, especially for my skincare. I like to travel with teeny tiny sample sizes of things. So even though I already had this, I wanted another one. I actually almost got the pink one, but I love the scent of this one better. It just screams vacation to me. Everybody loves this scent. <laughs> if you're in the minority, let us know. But I love the Boom Boom Cream. So I wanted this for my vacation that I'm going on. Like I said, I got one for me and my mom. But if you guys get these, save the mini sizes of all of these. That way, if you travel, I mean, not even frequently. I travel like once a year and I still refill these. So I'll buy the full sizes and I'll keep these sizes. And then I use it for travel. Why not? And I love that the fact that it comes with a little bag too. That way it keeps everything protected. It keeps everything else that you pack with protected. So yeah, I got two of those. I'm going to probably be all over the place. Okay. I'm just pulling out of this bag and we're just rolling with it. So I needed to restock the Tatcha rice wash. This is where I say don't sleep on Sephora Coles because I found the gratu like the gratitude size, I think. Gratitude size of the rice wash. I already know that I love this. So the fact that I got the bigger size... And 20% off because I think that was sold out online. You could only really get it in store if you could find it. So there's that. And then I also got the Tatcha, the Matcha Cleanse. If you've tried this, let me know because I feel like this might not necessarily be for my skin type because I think this is meant for more oily skin, but it's a daily gel cleanser. It's worth a shot. It's Tatcha. You guys already know. Tatcha usually works really well for my skin, which is why I buy their stuff all the time. I do get Tatcha PR as well, but that I did purchase my own money. And since I was going on vacation soon, I had to get a little travel size of this Moroccan oil. I think it's pronounced Brooms du Moroc. You, you all know I can't pronounce shit, okay? This stuff smells so fucking good. I love it. I go through it so fast, but it's just the perfect... It's, it's like a hair fragrance, pretty much. But I love spraying this all over my body. It's technically for hair and body, so it's fine. But I just... I talk about this all the time. That's... I, I feel like I'm always saying, like, the downfall of it is I go through it so quickly. But I really love the packaging on this as well. The only downfall since this is travel it is glass. I just, I gotta smell it. I don't even know how to explain it. If you're familiar with Moroccan oil, you're gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. Another downfall of this one is it doesn't last that long, but I don't give a fuck because it smells that good. They need to come out with a perfume of this that actually lasts, but I had to get one of these because it's just one of those scents that I love for travel, and it's a nice, like, refresh spray. 
I like that for the plane as well, because, you know, everybody's stanking on a plane. We ain't here for that. No, 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 we're not. And then I also grabbed some Sephora collection stuff. I'm trying to keep everything, like, somewhat together, but it, it's fine. All right, so Sephora collection. I got the Deep Cleaning Brush and Sponge Shampoo. I've never tried this before, but I feel like I've seen a lot of recommendations on this one. And then also the Sephora dry shampoo brush cleaner if you've tried either one of these let me know i already know that i love this one it's the daily brush cleaner refresh i think yeah daily brush cleaner refresh yeah that one i like for my natural hair brushes the only thing that i don't like about that one is it doesn't dry instantly which is why i thought maybe the dry shampoo would work well for me but the deep cleaning brush and sponge shampoo I really like using like Zote soap or just Dawn dish soap, but I don't feel like they're always the best for brushes. It, it just comes down to, I heard a lot of recommendations on this. That's why I got mostly everything is I hear good things about it. So I want to try it for myself. The end. Next thing. Some of my favorite lashes. Again, Sephora Kohl's. House of Lashes Iconic Lights. These were on sale for, I think, $6. One... Okay. One of my favorite style of lashes right here. I love tapered fluttery lashes. And these ones, since they're not, I mean, they're tapered and fluttery, but there's like a little bit of spikiness to them. So they're a little bit more dramatic, which I love. The Iconics are just too much for me. So the Iconic Lights is more of my preference. I do cut them down just a little bit to fit my eye shape better, but I just love how these look because they take like the most basic bitch look just to a whole nother level. So they had only two in store or else I would have bought probably all of them because I feel like they're phasing them out because you really can't find them. And plus, again, they were only $6. So yes, bitch. Hey, all the bridges in the live chat. What's good? What's popping? Next thing I grabbed. I don't know how I'm going to feel about this one because the more reviews that I'm seeing about it, the more I'm like, did I fuck up? So this is the Charlotte Tilbury, the Pillow Talk Big Lip Plumpgasm, Super Size and Maximize Lip Gloss, okay? <laughs> so I grabbed the shade Fair Medium. I actually, I actually like the, deep, the deeper shade better, but I felt like this would be more suitable for what I look for in a lip gloss. I love this packaging. I think it's so fucking cute. ASMR. Oh, that was a fail. Oh, okay. Let's give you guys a little swatch. That's the color. Like, I really like the color, but the deeper one I thought was prettier, except for lip glosses for me, I typically like something that's a little bit more sheer. And the other one, it definitely had more pigmentation to it, but I just like the color better. But it just looks shiny and juicy. Everything that I want in a lip gloss, but I keep hearing that this one has like a burning sensation. So we're going to have to try this one. If you guys want me to do like a Sephora haul try on, let me know. But another lip product that I grabbed was from Ule Henriksen. I'm always talking about the Jack Black lip balm. That's my favorite of all time. So this is the Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. I feel like this one came out of nowhere. I don't know if it's TikTok or what the deal is, but everybody and their fucking mother was recommending this so i'm over here like okay this means i gotta try it so i think i got it's like citrus does it say what kind citrus sunshine cute it smells good but let me give you guys a little swatch of this one as well if you've tried this let me know what i liked about this one is because it seems like it's gonna be almost like a lip gloss because of how shiny it is let me see i haven't used this yet so Let's see how it feels. It smells yummy too. It smells very citrusy. It almost smells like orange juice, which I love. It feels very hydrating on the lips. I feel like I'm gonna like this one. It's kind of reminding me of the lip glowy balms, I think they're called from Laneige, except I feel like this feels a little bit thicker, but not in a bad way. Like I feel like it's gonna last longer. Mmm. I think I'm going to like that. So I'm going to probably put that in my purse or maybe in my gym bag because I'm back going to the gym, guys. Mark it down on your calendars because 
we're bound to fall off that train again, but we're trying not to. All right, next thing I got was another iconic... Um, these are the Iconic Minis. So these are also from House of Lashes. I think these ones are just a little bit shorter, but they've got that thickness that the original Iconics have. So I don't know if I'm going to love these. I think these were actually $12. But I was like, okay, fuck it. We're going to try it anyways. Because I really love the Iconic Lights. And then I feel like since these are shorter, they'll work better for me. The Iconics, I feel like, are just so intense. So the other pair of lashes I got... Next thing, I sat in store for too long trying to decide, do I want to get these? What shades do I want to get? Because I'm over here like, I really don't know if these are going to be ideal for textured skin. So if you have textured skin, let me know. These are the Soft Pinch Luminous Powder Blushes from Rare Beauty. Bitch. I seen so many videos on these things and everybody's looked so good. But nobody had textured skin. So I'm like, what in the actual fuck? So I bought them for science. And I seen one video. I wish I could remember the name of the account. I think it's like SJ Makeup or something like that on TikTok. I'll link it in the description box after because I love her TikTok. I could just never remember the actual name. That's what always fucks me up with TikTok because I feel like I always see people's names, but then like the handle is different. I don't know, but I saw her swatch video on these because she swatched all the shades and I'm just looking at them like, oh my God, she is selling the piss out of these to me. So this is what the packaging looks like. Super cute. It's got almost like, it's the same sort of packaging as the highlighters, except it's more matte with almost like a flat gold. So I picked up first one is the shade Hope. Look how cute that is. I was going to get the shade Happy, and then I was also going to get the shade Love, but her video is what made me get different ones. Okay, this is something I do want to note because this one didn't have it, but this one has almost like a plastic cover over it, which I like because that makes me feel like it hasn't been opened yet. So just a little side note there. And then this shade right here, I just thought was so fucking pretty. It doesn't look as impressive. I don't think like in the pan, but I'm telling you in that TikTok video that I saw, it looked gorgeous on her skin and it looked like it was more flattered than the other ones. I felt like love almost accentuated more texture with just the undertones of it. And then happy, I was looking at it and I'm like, I feel like that would be a nice addition to my collection, but these ones I just felt were different and which is why I ended up choosing them. So with these two blushes, I'll give you guys swatches in a second. I also got the Always an Optimist powder brush because in her video, I actually saw her using this brush instead of the actual brush that was designed for these. And I felt like, I'm telling you, that video, I'm gonna link it and you're gonna be like, oh, okay, I get it because that video sold the shit out of these. I'm dropping everything. But just the way that she just glided it over, I'm like, how the fuck do I get this off? Oh, hold on. Let's see if I can get this off with these nails. Guys, don't ever let me get like square nails again because I feel like I can't do shit with these. At least when I got almond, I could actually function in life. I like this though because again it makes me feel like it hasn't been touched and it's brand new. So I'm not I'm not mad at this. I really like the structure of this brush as well. It's just a little bit more fluffy, right? Isn't that cute? I feel like it's gonna be good for these blushes because it's gonna be one of those formulas I feel like I I need to proceed with caution because it's gonna be something more luminous and it could accentuate my texture. So this is the shade, I believe it's Hope, right? That's the shade Hope. So when you swatch it, it doesn't look as impressive, but when it's applied, I just thought it looked so pretty. And then this is the shade Truth. It's almost got like a raspberry look to it. Oh man. This one I feel like is really different from my collection as well, which is another reason why I wanted to get it. I'm trying to be a little bit more selective with things like as far as shades and like stuff like that. That way I'm not overlapping so much in my collection. 
So stay tuned for probably like a cheek swatch video. I have this like serious pimple <laughs> situation going on right now. So that would be a nice true test on is it going to accentuate texture because this is so risen. I was just squeezing the shit out of it before we started the video. So we're not judging. But if you've tried these soft pinch blushes, let us know what you think of them. Aren't these shades so pretty though? I'm excited to try them. And I'm also excited to try this brush. I don't feel like this brush was like a need, but it was her video that really sold it to me. So I'll keep you guys posted. Let me know if you've tried this one and if you tried the soft pinch brush, which one you like better. Just let me know all the things. All right, comment section will be open. And also I have to add this because I keep seeing in my previous videos, people are asking in the playback about the live chat. I'm not sure why exactly. Don't be surprised if you guys start seeing me do more filmed content because for some reason the live chat function is not working the way that it used to. I feel like my videos aren't being pushed out like they used to be either. Granted, I'm not live nearly as much. I just feel like for a period of time with YouTube, lives were really relevant. So they were pushing them out like we were getting so many people watching at once. And I feel like we don't necessarily get as many you know, like the influx of people like we used to. But then also the biggest thing is the live chat. I, it really irritates me when the live chat doesn't show up. <laughs> because I feel like that's why so many of you like rewatch the video is so you can follow along with the live chat. So I'm working on it, but I still have not figured out anything as far as an update. Next thing I got is the Urban Decay Face Bond Waterproof Foundation. I was gonna get this at Ulta, but I don't believe that it's available there yet. So I picked up the shade. 12 light neutral. What really is interesting to me is I believe that this tap, what did I just say? This top is like patent pending or they're going to be, or they already did. I don't know. I, I saw, I think it was the lipstick lesbians talking about it, but then I also have been seeing a lot of people raving about this foundation. So I feel like the, I'm going to call it applicator is um, very talked about. And just by judging how little I was able to put onto my hand right now, I feel like it's gonna be really easy to almost like mediate how much product you're using. That looks like a pretty good match for me though. I'm excited. We'll be doing most likely a wear test on that because I love me a good wear test. I, I'm always telling you guys, like I have textured skin so one of my favorite things to test is foundation. So if there's any new foundations you guys want to see me try, let me know. And then I also grabbed this. This is Makeup by Cheryl's Fault. The Sephora Colorful Luminizer in the shade Sparkling Honey. She was saying in her recommendation that if you were like a complexion similar to her, this would be one that it's almost like it looks like it's not going to work for your skin tone. It looks actually pretty dark, but on the face... For her, it's a really good match. So I'm taking her recommendation and running with it. I was going to get the pink one as well, but I have so many pink fucking highlighters. <laughs> I mean, I have a million highlighters that look like this as well. But let me tell you what, if it wasn't for her recommendation, I would not have gotten this because I'm honestly not impressed whatsoever when I swatch this because it just... It doesn't look like anything special on camera. It actually looks really pretty. But I guess when I was swatching them in store, I felt like they were almost like dry and they had like a funky texture to them, but maybe it's just because they were left opened or whatever. Cause this one, it feels a little bit creamier. I'll keep you guys posted, but that, that is actually looking fairly promising. And that actually looks like a pretty good shade match for a highlighter, like a really natural looking highlight that's not gonna, you know, it'll just kind of blend with my skin tone. I'm excited. So thank you to Cheryl for the recommendation on that. And then the last thing that I got in this bag is a fragrance. I, I was not going to get this fragrance. I was going to get Yum Pistachio from K. Alley. And then I had gotten a little size. I actually recommended this in my recommendations video. And I just could not stop thinking about it. So this is the Replica, Replica Beach Walk. And I got the smaller one because this was my thought process. I'm like, okay, I'm going to get the smaller one, which is an ounce. 
because I plan on taking this with me on vacation. And I wanted something bigger than a rollerball size because I know that I like the fragrance. And I was like, all right, when I go to like replenish, that's when I'll get like the refill that is, I want to say, it would basically fill this up either two or three times or something in between there. So this is the smaller one. I'm just trying not to, I'm trying to be better. Okay. I'm trying not to buy full sizes of fucking everything, especially when I have so many fragrances already. But let me see, let me see just how big this is. Cause, oh, it's cute. I want to smell this one too. Cause here's the thing. I know I have said previously that I'm just not like a replica bitch. And I have Jazz Club, which I really like for fall, winter time because it's really musky and boozy. But these for me are typically something I would prefer for like a candle scent. But Beach Walk, this one's fucking good. It's, it's really fucking good. I don't know how to explain it other than I feel like I just envision myself walking on a beach. Like it just, ah, uh, that, that's it. That's all I got for you. Such a, such a lame explanation, but I feel like it's named perfectly and it's just, it gives you that like salt water, aquatic. Uh, it smells so good. Just take my word for it. It smells good. But if you can get like a rollerball size or a travel spray size, obviously try that first. But I just think this is going to be one of my staples for spring, summer. Aside from my Killian Sun, was it Sunkissed Goddess? I already had bought that before the sale. I really wish that Sephora would just let us, you know, like if you bought it like a week before the sale, like I did the Sunkissed Goddess, like just give me the percent. That way I don't have to fucking return it and then buy it again type of thing. Because it's so petty to me. Just let me get the goddamn discount. Especially on a fucking... Especially on a fragrance that's like 300 bucks. So spency. Anyways, moving on to the smaller bag. This is small, but mighty. Because wait till you see what's in here. Okay, so I have been pondering this mascara for so long. I was going to get the... What was it? It's a Velour Lash Mascara. Pretty big deal, I think it's called. It's one of my favorites. But then I was in store and I was like, you know what, Brittany? Enough is enough. Just fucking buy it and try it. Because I feel like everybody is always raving about this. It's the YSL Lash Class Mas Lash Clash Mascara. Never tried it. Hear amazing things. I want to say Patty Alonzo is the one I hear always talking about it. So snag that. But it's so expensive. So expensive for a goddamn mascara. I hate paying high end for mascaras simply because I think the drugstore does it really well. But I wanted to try it. So next thing I got is from Makeup Forever. I'm going to try to open this somewhat quickly. I personally love the Aqua Lip. That's my favorite. I actually got, I actually got a new shade of, of that one as well. So in the Aqualip, I picked up the shade 10C, but then I also got the Artist Color Pencil in the shade Boundless Berry. Now, there was a reason I got this. There's a reason I got both of these. Because I had every intention on getting a lipstick that fucking sold out during the sale, and I'm big mad about it. But um, I'm hopeful that it'll come back in stock before the sale ends. <laughs> but you know what's going to happen? Watch. It's going to come back in stock tomorrow. Mark my fucking words. And you guys are probably going to know which one it is. So I feel like these are very similar to one another when you look at them. So the reason I like the Aqua Lip is because this is truly waterproof. Like once you apply this, it does not fucking budge. But it's very creamy. So this is 10C. I'm going to give you guys a swatch. I always wear the shade 14C. So this one's a little bit deeper. And it's a little bit more like, I'm going to say like raspberry toned. And then in the color pencil, Boundless Berry. Like I said, these looked very for, like similar to one another, but when you swatch them, you could see they're very different. So this one is definitely more berry tone, whereas this one I feel like is more purple. I was going to get the Westman Atelier lipstick. <laughs> and it fucking sold out. I'm so pissed. There's still one shade that I might get. But the one I wanted, it was LFG, and it fucking sold out, and I'm mad. I'm big mad. It's okay. I spent enough money. I don't really need to get it. Next thing I got. 
House Labs. I got the shade Hibiscus Haze in the blush formula. I'm still debating if I want to get, is it French, French Coquette? Is that it? But Hibiscus Haze, this was one that I knew that I wanted even before they did this like restructure of packaging. Look how pretty that is. I just thought this would be really nice for spring, summer because it's pink, but it's, I feel like it's not like that bubblegum pink that we're always seeing. This is like a perfect everyday sort of pink. Plus, I actually, I really like this packaging upgrade. I wish the sizes were the same as what they were just for collection purposes because now it's going to make me big mad that two of my shades are the bigger one and then this one is obviously smaller but I love seeing the shade on the outside of the packaging so I don't have to look on the back <laughs> oh excuse me it's just easier especially when you have a bigger collection like me like I hate rummaging through everything I care it <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna end up getting the two new one or I don't know about fire moon because Fire Moon, when I looked at it in store, it looked more bronzy. Like, it looked like a bronzer. Do I need it? <laughs> but Hibiscus Haze, this was a returning shade, and I wanted this shade before they went out of stock. I even want Pomelo Peach. I feel like this is, like, a collection. I'm going to order them all eventually. I was like, Brittany, chill, start with one. But maybe I'll end up ordering another one before the night is over. We shall see. Ah! Okay, next thing I got. Because I love the one that I already have. So I have this Merit Beauty. Uh, what are these called? The Solo Shadows. So I have the shade Mid-Century. Now clearly my eyeballs are green. And I thought this shade would just be so perfect for a basic bitch like me. So I picked up the shade Social. Which it's got almost like... A bronzy tone, but it's more purple. And these types of shades for my eye color, spectacular. I know this is going to look so fucking good on me. So that was why I wanted to get it, obviously, because get the sale, 20% off. Merit Beauty, I don't really feel like ever goes on sale. Plus, they've sent me stuff in, the, like, in previous times, so I want to support their brand as well. But these are amazing. Like, once you apply them, they do not budge. They don't crease on me. I love applying these first, and then I'll put, like, a sparkly shadow over the top. Bitch, fuck me up. These are so good. So that's going right in my drawer next to my other ones. And then I also had to get another Forever Glow Maximizer. <laughs> I am pissed, though, because the two shades, I wanted three shades, but two of them were sold out. This was probably a bad idea for me. I'm like, ew, it's got my fingerprints on it. Probably a bad idea for me for this time of the year because this this is definitely more of something. Wow, that's going to make me mad how there's like a blemish on the packaging already. But I digress. The shade Pearly, okay? When you like it, when you look at these all side by side, there is something so different about Pearly compared to all of the other ones. This one, in my opinion, it's more sparkly, which some people may not like, but it almost gives the illusion. I feel like it's not looking that great on camera. Let me back up. It gives the illusion of color, or color, oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. It gives the illusion of Cullen skin. Yes. It's so pretty, but it is not giving what it actually looks like in real life. I want one of those. Do I need Karen? If you like liquid illuminators, I love these. I would love to see, is it rosy? That's one I think I would like to see on you. Or like there's nude, there's peachy. I want, ro I want. Which ones were the ones that I, I wanted to get peachy and I wanted to get rosy. Those were both sold out. But rosy on my complexion is going to look more of like a blush. It's almost like a luminous blush, which I'm confident with Dior that it's going to look amazing because Dior is always so flattering on my texture. But the, oh, it's, I can't wait to try that on my face. But it does look more glittery than all of the other ones. So pearly. 
This one is for the fair skin girlies, especially. That's where I'm like, I probably should have waited till like fall, winter when I'm on the more fair side because as I am right now, like I'm fairly fair, I would say. But when I get it, like we're going into summer months, so I'm going to get a tan. This is where I try to choose wisely with what I buy, but I think I was just in a panic and I'm like, there's one left. I need to buy it. <laughs> like a dumbass. <laughs> but uh, it's fine. I'll use it. And I could see myself using this as like a nice, you know, highlight topper type of thing. It, You know what it looks like? A liquid version of Fenty How Many Carrots. That's the illusion I feel like it gives. It just looks like crushed diamonds. Cullen skin. You get it. Okay, this one. I did not expect to get one of these because there's nothing exciting about a packaging or... Wow. A product relaunching in just different packaging, which quite frankly, I liked the older packaging better. I like the gold better. Just a my opinion thing. I felt like it looked more expensive in gold, but these are the YSL Love Shine. I got the shade 209. And when I was swatching these is what sold this one to me. I'm like, this is just a beautiful color for spring, summer right? I love that they got that shininess to them. I haven't tried it on my lips yet, but I just really liked how it's got like almost like a strawberry look to it. I do like the old packaging better. I am a little disappointed by the new packaging. We'll see if I end up keeping that one because she's expensive. That's like a $40 lip product. She's fancy. Now, I talked about this in my recommendations as well, and I said it's on my list because I fucking love these Moondust eyeshadow palettes. Well, I was in store. Nobody talks about this, at least that I've heard. I was in store one day, and I was swatching, and this shade right here, Lithium. Let me just show you how glorious of an eyeshadow I love these Moondust eyeshadows because they're so flattering, but they're so sparkly. And they're a perfect one-and-done eyeshadow. Look at how... Are you kidding me? You know how I was saying, like, Cullen skin? This is Cullen eyeballs. Because <laughs> they're so, like, they're so sparkly. This is what I love about the Moondust eyeshadows. There's nothing like them. It's almost like how I feel about hourglass powders. There is nothing else like these. Like you could see like how I'm always talking about Davina eyeshadows and unearthly eyeshadows. There is something so spectacular and so different about Moondust eyeshadows from Urban Decay. I wore this, I think it was yesterday. Gorgina. Fucking beautiful eyeshadow. And I just literally, I just boop, 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 boop done call it a day super simple it's just perfect for a basic bitch like me and you could just see how sparkly these are fantastic eyeshadows i love it and i have a little custom palette i got forever ago my brother was actually the first person to buy me moon dust eyeshadows and i still have that little palette so i'm gonna actually add this into there i know not everybody's the biggest fan of like single shadows like this, but when I find ones that rock my world like this one did, yeah, we're adding that to cart. And then the last thing, no, this is not the last thing. I also replenished a Color Wow Raise the Root. I really feel like this makes a big difference for my volume. It holds my curls really well. I just basically use it with my Dyson Airwrap. I'll have like a strand of hair hooked in the Dyson. I'll spray it on the rest of my hair and then I'll go ahead and curl it in. It's fantastic. I love it for that. But this next one, I think this is the last thing that I grabbed. I like hemmed and hawed it and I'm like, no, Brittany, you don't need it. But then I seen it in store and I started swatching it and I'm like, wow, this is like a perfect face palette for me. All the shades will work for my complexion. I love creams and liquids. So this Makeup Forever HD Skin Face Essentials Palette. I could use this whole fucking thing and I love it. So I've got basically like a concealer shade. I feel like this shade right here 
It's probably a little bit light for my complexion now, so I'll probably mix these two right here or even mix these two. It's going to be a whole mixing situation. The only shade that I might not use is possibly this one, but I feel like I might get that dark this summer because I plan on soaking up all the vitamin D this year. But this perfect contour shade, what appears for my complexion, this right here, perfect cream bronzer for me. And then you get what, four blushes, two highlighters. I cannot wait to try this. The only thing that makes me a little bit nervous about this is the fact that it's all creams and typically I like more of a liquid, like concealer, liquid foundation. But then in my head too, I'm like, Brittany, you're traveling. You're traveling soon. So I'm gonna try this before I leave. And if I like it as much as I think I'm going to, because Makeup Forever I feel like is just one of those brands that I could count on them delivering good products. If it's as good as what I think it's gonna be, this is gonna come with me and this will probably be all that I take with me. This and like one of my BK109 brushes, cause I feel like this is a perfect brush to fit perfectly in those pans. We already got a plan up here. This is what I'm thinking when I'm in store buying this. I'm like, oh my God, I could try it before I leave and if I like it, I'm gonna bring it and then I'm gonna bring my BK109. It's a whole process. So I grabbed this one. I picked up the shade. I think it's light medium. Yes, light to medium. The deeper one also looked beautiful. I just felt like this one better suited my skin tone. And then that is everything that I grabbed, I think. I'm looking around making sure I didn't forget anything. But I feel like I spent enough money. However, I'm not done. <laughs> because you know I placed an order online. I literally just placed it before. So if there's anything else, because it's already 11.52, if there's anything else that I need to add to cart, let me know in the comments right now. But if you're wondering what I ordered online, because I'm obviously not going to have this before the sale is over, I start off with the Bosma Beauty The Cream Blush in the shade Burnt Orange. I love me a burnt orange blush. Give me all of that in the spring summer. Tom Ford Soleil Glow Bronzer. Y'all better be proud of me because I've said that I'm going to get this for probably three years. And I always like, I always add it to my cart and then I take it out and I add it to my cart and then I take it out and it always ends up back on my loves list. And this was the time where I'm like, okay, there's no new bronzers that have come out that like tickle my fancy. It was time. It was time to get the Soleil Glow Bronzer. I got the shade Terra. I will keep you guys posted. This next one, I didn't plan on getting this until I saw that the Fragrance Free was a, like a limited release. So I got the Fragrance Free Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder in the shade Peach Pie. I actually have a peach pie in the mini size and I honestly hate this packaging more than anything. But I really like the product itself and I love this packaging for this powder. So I wanted to get this because one, I'm curious if, you know how my eyes are always watering and my nose is always running? I'm very curious if the fragrance, because I've never really paid attention to like what products I'm using, but I'm like, maybe it's the fragrance that makes my eyes water. Or, cause I have really sensitive eyes to begin with. I'm always telling you guys that. And I feel like fragrance is one of the thing, one of those things that I could it it could easily irritate my eyes or make my nose run or whatever. So unplanned, but I wanted to try the fragrance free, and I already know that I love the powder, so it's fine. Next thing I got is the Gucci hydrating concealer. <laughs> Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang, Gucci gang. It's a forty seven dollar concealer. So obviously I wanted to take advantage of the twenty percent because I am rouge. I didn't say that yet, but I am rouge, so I get 20% off. I got the shade 25N. I love the packaging on this. I've heard really great things about it. I was between this one and the Valentino, so if you've tried either, let me know which one you like better, but I'm excited to try that. I also got a slip small, slip silk scrunchie set for $39. I love these scrunchies. I use them all the time. And I got black, pink, and caramel, okay? Next thing I got is a replenish of the Westman Atelier face, tra face Trace Cream Contour Stick. Didn't need it, especially with getting that Makeup Forever face palette, but I love this product. And I have been without the shade Biscuit for far too long, 
So I replenished that because it's a perfect time to take advantage of the 20% off because Westman Atelier never goes on sale. And I also got the Patrick Ta Major Glow Lip Shine in the shade Is She Younger Than Me? I absolutely adore these lip glosses. Like, I know he keeps coming out with new shades of the other formula. Patrick, if you see this, stop playing all of us and give us more colors of the lip shines. This is so much better. If anything, I wish that he would take this formula and put it in the other packaging with the bigger doe foot because the amount of times that I have to dig in here and keep re-dipping and re-dipping, but it's worth it because the more that you layer this, the more beautiful it is. It's a spectacular formula. I love it so much. And I just wanted to own all three of the shades. But imagine this in like a bright coral. Like, come on, that's what we need. Or even like a red, a sparkly red. We need almost like uh, something like this, but more, but more silver. Patrick's fucking up. Like, I know he's, he's concentrating on the other one, but this formula is way better. And it's got that minty cooling sensation. So much better than that cinnamon bullshit in my humble opinion. <laughs> Next thing I also got is the Summer Fridays on the go hydration birthday set. So I got that as my birthday gift because my birthday is coming up. I got this one specifically because I was gonna do like the 250 points for my birthday and then there was a couple other ones to choose from. But one, I love the jet lag mask and I'm gonna be traveling soon. So I wanted to get, you know, the jet lag mask for that even though I already have one like a dumbass. But I also really wanna try that lip, it's like a lip treatment, almost something similar to the Ule Henriksen one. I just hear everybody raving about it and I wanna know what the hype's all about. So I grabbed that. I also got refills of my Metal Facial, wow, Metal Facial Razor Refills. I use this basically, I mean, not every time I get on camera because clearly you could probably see, I've got peach fuzz and I got a mustache probably, but I love this facial razor that these basically these refills go go with so i obviously had to get those you get 30 percent off too so why not i also got a replenishment of the charlotte tilbury brow cheat i have to look because i can't remember if this is the shade that i got before let me look while i got this right here i already know that i love the brow cheat please be the right shade black brown is that what i got no dark brown fuck I got the wrong one, but whatever. This, I love that it's refill. It just kind of sucks that you can only get the refills online. I wish you could get them in store. Next thing I grabbed was the Armani Beauty Luminous, Luminous Silk Glow Blush in the shade Mania. I love these blushes so much. I know like some people don't like these at all. I also got some samples. Those are the samples that I got, but I know some people don't like the Armani Beauty blushes but I fucking love them. I think they're so flattering. I love the just skin-like finish that they have. They almost remind me, this is I think why I love them so much. They give me like a more buildable version of the Vive blushes. You already know how much I love the Vive blushes, but those are hella pigmented where the Armani ones, they're very buildable. They're very, I'm gonna say sheer, but once you build them up, they just look so beautiful on the cheek, especially for somebody like me. Like I have a lot of texture back here. So good. Okay. I'm looking at the comments now. Gucci concealer is way better than Valentino. Oh, so I made a good choice then. I love that for me. Stop it, Patrick. <laughs> I know. Like why, why are we not getting more of these? Because these are so much prettier in my opinion. I love them. They came out with the new shades of the Gucci lipstick, Eliza Ginger, and the matte formula is so nice. See, I was looking for, in my recommendations, did you guys notice that Agatha Orange is not like a thing anymore? I used to love that one. I was going to recommend it because that's one of my favorite lippies for spring, summer. I was pissed. Oh my God, I want the face palette so bad. I mean, if you want it, take advantage of the sale, girl. Let me know, what did you guys get? What did you guys get? I'm nosy as fuck. You guys know this. I need to know. What did you get? I'm going to give you guys a few minutes on this one because I need to know. Yeah, and don't forget, thumbs up, th thumbs up the video, guys. Hook me up. All right, if I like the replica beach watch, wore it at my beach wedding because it's aquatic, try replica sailing day. 
I feel like I smelled that in store and I didn't like it as much. And I felt like I should have because I was looking at this one little rollerball gift set. It had beach walk. Almost there was like rain, a rainy day or something like that. And I want to say, I want to say sailing date was in there too, but I didn't like it as much. I really like beach walk. And I think I like beach walk more because it was more intense. What was the fragrance? I, I was going to get a fragrance. <sighs> what was the fragrance? I was going to get a fragrance and I ended up not getting it because the, oh, it was the, you know what guys, unpopular opinion time. Y'all ready for this? I might get canceled for this. Um, I don't like the Forever Mood fragrances. <laughs> Please tell me I'm not the only one. Like, love Jackie Ida so much, but I do not ever like the Forever Mood fragrances. Even for the candles, there's something about them that I'm like, it's just not for me. It's just not for me. Just placed my second order last minute, Killian Princess. I love Killian for Princess, but I think I like that one better for fall, winter. Almost like end of summer going into fall. I'm very specific when I like um, my fragrances. Charlotte Tilbury Lip Plump. I cannot wait to try that. I should have got it at Ulta, though. I'm like, Brittany, I fucked up so bad. Like, I didn't place my fucking Sephora order on time, so I missed out on the Hourglass Powder. I missed out on the Westman Atelier Lipstick, because... I don't know why in my head I'm thinking like you could only place one order and that's not the case. Like I should have just bought them as soon as they dropped and I'm pissed at myself <laughs> that I did it. The new green Valentino set is amazing, but I got it at Ulta. I wanted to smell that and I kept forgetting. And you know what other one I smelled that smelled beautiful? It's that new one from Joe Malone, Joan Malone, right? Or no, Joe Malone. It just came out. Oh, it was like right when I walked in the store. I'm like, oh my God, it's very florally. What was that called? Let me pull it up so you guys could see which one I'm talking about. Because I almost actually bought a roller size, a roller ball size of this one. Because I was very surprised. Because Joe Malone, there's other ones. Like there's very specific ones that I like. But they're always so floral. Like I could only wear them really in like the springtime. But this one, I was like, oh, I could see this being like a really nice, like, I'm going to say spring, summer. Okay. Can I get it on here? What the fuck? I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, but this is the one I'm talking about. It's, why is that not working? There we go. You're looking at all the things that I do in my spare time, like make fucking flyers for my bar. <laughs> if you're wondering <laughs> what those little thumbnails were. Those were for my bar. So this fragrance, Frangipani Flower, I I don't know. I smelled it when I, it must have dropped like as soon as I went in store because it was dead smack in front. It smelled beautiful, but again, very florally. Oh, let me see what you guys are saying. I'm just looking to see if I got, um, if I got canceled for saying I don't really like the, the um, forever mood. <laughs> I'm not a fan of the fragrance. <laughs> It's packaging. I didn't see the full size, but I did see, um, I got to smell three out of the four in store and I was like, I am not impressed with any of these. They just were not my, my vibe at all. Plus I didn't feel like they had a great throw. Like I sprayed them and I'm like, I feel like these are going to go in like five seconds. I got the clinic candy glaze duo cause Dio winning. I love that. I bought $1,200 worth this trip. Got the, du wait, I bought $1,200 worth. You spent $1,200? Yes, bitch. I fucking love that. Got the duo slip pillowcases. Okay, I need to know, like, is that really a thing? Like, the, the silk pillowcases, do they really make that big of a difference? Because in my mind, I want to try them, but I feel like they're just going to fly off my bed. Like, my pillows will fly off my bed. I got entirely too much shit. I got the Clean Reserve Sparkling Sugar or something like that and the Valentino Roma Intense. I love the, like all the new clean reserve fragrances, I thought smelled so nice. Good choice. I like it. Makeup by Mario and Dior lipstick in 720. Yes. I don't like anything from Forever Mood. Sorry, Jackie. I love you. Same. Like I love Jackie and I'm like, I want to throw so much money at it, but I never love the fragrances. Even the candles. I'm just like, no, not for me. <laughs> 
<laughs> I got so much, it's not even funny. The Merit Matte Lipsticks are really nice. I love the Merit Lipsticks as well. Love them. Good choice. I got three shades from the Hourglass Vanish Airbrush, couple NARS blushes. I almost got the shade, I think it's Obsession in those blushes, because it looks so pretty. Alien Perfume, Prada Perfume, and my NARS Foundation. <laughs> I just love seeing you guys throwing your money too. Cause I'm like, okay, I don't feel as bad. <laughs> I got the YSL love shine and it was meh. Yeah. Like if I'm not like head over heels for this, I, I will end up bringing it back cause of how expensive it is. You know? Oh, uh, let's see. Didn't care for the forever mood set. Yeah. I was just like, mm. It's a bummer, because I really wanted to love them. I'm so glad you said that. I hated her candles. I wanted to smell her fragrances, but I think I might skip. See, I was going to get, you know, that little Discovery set? I was fully prepared to buy that, and it sold out so fast. I am so glad that I didn't get it, because I'm just, I feel like I would have been really disappointed. And I don't want to do that. I don't want to, I don't want to hate on Jackie. I know, I love her. Oh, let's see. I made one last order, bought a second of the new support lip, Sephora lip shines and the Fleur Vanilla. Fleur Vanilla smells incredible. I was gonna buy that too, but I passed. That was a good girl. Rare Beauty powders and Hope and Happy. Happy I almost bought. Multiple lip balms, Rare Beauty soft pinch blush brush, Sephora collection number 47. If you have any, love the 47. Okay, maybe I need to grab that one. Is that a Patty Alonzo recommendation? Cause I feel like that was the number I remember her hearing. But if you have any Sephora collection brush recommendations, because every one that I've tried since their little rebrand, I haven't loved. But it hasn't been many that I've tried. I was just big mad about the 64 not being as good. I almost got Beach Walk, but went with Prada. I'm trying to think if I have that one. I know I have a Prada one that was gifted to me and I really like it. But Beach Walk, I just feel like is such a beautiful spring summer fragrance. I love it. I got three shades from Hourglass Vanish Press Powder. I'm so jealous because I'm so pissed that I missed it. I missed it. Ah! I restocked my Milk Makeup Contour, Danessa Marks Glow Serum, two Mario blushes, Sol de Janeiro Body Wash, Cinema Secrets, yes, and the Clear Brow Gel or the Clear Brow Stuff from Patrick Ta. Yes. And then on my second order, oh, I can't wait to see what else you got. <laughs> see you we're all addicted and i love it charlotte tiberi new pillow tuck shade and fair both lipstick and liner yes said that the ysl bronzers i know i i have those on my loves list here let me let me show you guys what my loves list looks like because i'm just over here like are these gonna come back in stock and i also could not believe i didn't buy a foundation yet that's a lie i i just flat out lied to you yes i did <laughs> I was gonna buy the Prada, but I'm I'm over here like, okay, is that lip suede gonna come back in stock? I seen the K18 Biomimetic, is that how you pronounce it? Hair Science, the Air Wash Dry Shampoo. I thought this was so interesting that I wanted to try it and it was sold out in store and I was big mad about it. Um, Gucci, I ended up getting. Prada, this one went in and out of, in and out of my cart so many times. I keep going back and forth about this deluxe best-selling mini perfume sampler because I want Burberry Goddess. And I'm like, $90 plus 20% off is like $90 alone is already cheaper than what you're going to pay for the fragrance. So I'm like, deal. this is girl math right here. I'm like, this is such a good deal if you want any one of these fragrances. But Burberry Goddess is my personal favorite in this one. Um, I'm still hemming and hawing about She's Flushed from the Major Headlines Double Take Cream and Powder Blush Duo from Patrick Ta, because let me tell you something. I, guys, I can admit when I'm wrong, okay? I know for a fact I have said a lot, especially recently, that I don't get the hype with these. The way that I have not been able to put this one down since, I'm gonna say probably like a week and a half, two weeks ago. This is the shade She's So LA. I, I'm ashamed. I'm ashamed for ever saying that I don't get the hype with those because those give one of the most beautiful, just natural looking flush to the face, but yet it's still pigmented, but not overly pigmented. Just a perfect blush formula, especially when you, I mean, 
I personally like to apply them how Patrick recommends. So I'll put the powder down first and then the cream on top. Ignore everything that I've said about them previously because I think that they are so beautiful. So naturally, now I want more. <laughs> I'm such a hypocrite. So she's flushed, still having an on that. Um, praying to Jesus that the Vanish Airbrush Press Powder comes back in stock. Also, the All Hours 24 Hour Hyper Sun Kiss Glow Bronzer from YSL because one, that packaging looks divine and I want it. Also, the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Blurring Under Eye Powder. But I did see, I think it was Morgan Turner got it, and she was not that impressed. Like, it didn't look that, I shouldn't say she wasn't that impressed. It didn't look that much different than the original one, so I'm like, okay, I could easily just, you know, ixnay that one if I want. I bought Luminous Silk and happy to get it back, and the Dior Gloss, yes! Got two Sephora favorite sets, yes! I got four now, oh my god, I love it. Uh, Bumble and Bumble, Dry Shampoo, Day Shampoo, the Brown Creamy Huda Palette. Oh, I knew that was coming. Urban Decay Palette, Patrick Todd Contour, and Blush. See, before I say anything and become a hypocrite again, I didn't really love the contour, but I need to try it again before I run my mouth because I feel like I might be in a similar situation as I was with the blushes. <laughs> Lawless Lip Plumper Shit, yes! Oh my god, yes! One of my favorites, I love this one so much, it is Lavender Sorbet. These are such great, I almost said blushes, these are such great lip glosses. And I know I've also said that I didn't understand the hype of these, but when they changed this packaging though, it's like, oh, so shiny. I would love to see them do like sparkly ones. I love a sparkle, like a, a juicy, shiny, sparkly lip. Fuck me up. That's what I want to see next. I got the Clean Reserve Mini Set. They smell so good. Yes! The Jo Malone has no staying power? No! Okay, easy pass then for me. My sister swears by her slip pillowcases. She takes them on vacation with her. Shut up. Oh my God. Place to order spent like six fifty Canadian. I love it. Oh my god, you guys have to keep us posted too, like what you guys think about the products that you guys got. Finally try the lawless forget the filler and it's a keeper. Yes, yes. Um, I got the give blushes and lip gels. They are great. I keep looking at the shade marigold because now I'm seeing everybody talk about that. <sighs> Two House Labs blushes, two Rare Beauty blushes, ABH lipstick, Mario Satin lipstick, or Mario, my bad. Say blush, Charlotte's new lip pillow talk. I did some damage, but not $1,200 worth. <laughs> you definitely did some damage. The 47 is a lot like the BK109. That's what I thought. That's, a, that's exactly what I thought when I saw Patty recommend it. Oh my God. Hourglass bronzer and brush. Yes! I got those in my cart for Ulta. Like, guys, I'm telling you, I fucked up so bad. I had a 20% off at Ulta and I didn't even use it. So stupid. <laughs> I also got two Fenty highlights and bitch, they're Gorgina. I almost got one of those. But my previous experiences with Fenty complexion, it kept me away. And I'm hoping they come to Ulta because I would rather buy them at Ulta. My loves list is bigger now than before the sale. Oh my fucking God. <laughs> Cinema Secrets. Thanks for the reminder. Ordering it now. Guys, if you're ordering anything, don't forget to use the link in the description box. <laughs> oh, I know. Isn't it? It's so good. I love that fragrance. Burberry Goddess. So good. Has anyone tried the Soft Services Body Cream? I'm dying to try it and it's sold out. I've never even heard of that. So let us know live chat. I'm way over 2K. Two online orders, four in-store pickups, and two cold strips and still browsing. <laughs> um, I hope you're a content creator so we can watch a haul. Because yes, please. Moroccan oil hairspray, drunk elephant cleanser, beauty blender cleanser, Armani power fabric foundation, hourglass press powder. It's just okay. You're not missing anything. Really? I was hoping it was like mind blowing. Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better, but I still feel like I'm going to like it. The Daily Brush Cleaner is amazing, especially, yes, this one is fantastic. The only downfall for me is that they don't, um, like, your brushes don't dry super quick. Like, I feel like if you're, 
It's like a good when you're done with your makeup and putting your brushes back. That's when it's a good time. But if you're trying to almost like clean your brushes between shades and stuff, it doesn't really work. Because it almost leaves like a residue on your brush that will transfer into your powders. So I would recommend using them that way. At least that's based off of my experience. Um, Charlotte Tilbury Powder Refill, Sephora Lip Liners, Tower 28 Lip Liner and Gloss Set. The liner is a total dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. Oh, thank you for that. Hey, girl. Hey. Girl, I saw your booze video and I thought you were pregnant. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> we love a parasocial relationship. <laughs> I tried that one, but didn't like it as much as Cinema Secrets. I do like Cinema Secrets more, but... Cinema Secrets is not great for your natural hairbrushes. It's very drying. So proceed with caution. Would not recommend using this on natural hair. This is great for synthetic, like your BK Beauty brushes and, and brushes like that, even like the Sephora brushes. But like your Refer, if you have Sonia G, any like that, would not recommend. It'll just, it'll destroy. It'll destroy your brushes. Um... I'm with you, 95 watching and only 49 thumbs ups. Guys, give this video a like for all the all the money that the live chat is throwing at Sephora. Because <laughs> we're so nosy. Um, I love, love, love the silk pillowcase, but you have to get your silk pillowcase that has the zipper because they will slip off. Okay, good to know. Because I feel like I've had like silk sheets and pillowcases before and I would wake up and there'd be nothing on my bed. <laughs> Ah, you guys didn't like that. I get a thumbs down. It's okay. We love that too. I spent $900 and went to the sale saying, I don't even want anything. <laughs> I have <laughs> oh shit. Also, I died. <laughs> Girl, same. <laughs> love the Sephora Pro brushes and cleaner. Okay, I am, I am well... While over accepting your guys' recommendations, okay? Give me give me a, give me all your recommendations. What do you think that I would love? You guys watch my videos. You guys usually know what I like and don't like. What am I going to love if I add it to cart? Besides the new ColourPop Beauty and the Beast collection. Because you're, everybody's tagging me, sending it to me. I'm like, guys, I am all over this. You already know. <laughs> Oh, uh, let's see. What do I think of the skincare brand Bubble? I've never tried them. I feel like I haven't heard really much about them. I do want to point out something really quick because it just popped into my head. But skincare brand Bumble or Bubble, this is really the only skincare brand that I'm like, I would recommend almost everything because <laughs> I love touches so much. But I just want to know how I've been talking for, how long have we been on here? An hour? And this is still very much on the lips. It's the Ule Henriksen Pout Preserve Peptide Lip Treatment. And she still even looks shiny. That's impressive for me. Especially when I'm talking for a longer period of time. Like, I feel like on lives it's usually not really apparent this long into the video. But there's just a little first impression of my thoughts on that one. I just had to stop myself from making another order. <laughs> Uh, just ordered two Make It Forever Aqua Liners and the Cinema Secrets using your links. Thanks, girl. You're welcome. I got you. I can always enable you guys to buy more shit. <laughs> Self-care isn't selfish. Isn't that what Jackie says? <laughs> Fleur Vanilla Skin. It smells so good. Charlotte Tilbury is releasing fragrances. I'm so curious. You know what, though? I'm not too confident and I'm only going to say that because I think her like I'm only judging by like the fragrances of her current products and I don't usually like them. They're like way too florally but they they're like way too mature for my taste but I am very curious to smell them. I got the Tatcha mini set for travel. You will love it. Yes I love Tatcha. Sephora brushes 47 and the 80. Okay. Okay. I love the Ole Lip Balm, but not in cocoa. The flavor is very odd. Ooh, interesting. That was like the only one in store that I could find 
besides this one. I feel like this, there was like a strawberry one, right? That one was sold out. But there was only a couple left of this one, so I figured this is probably the second to most popular. But the Summer Friday ones, gone. Could not find a single one. Gone. I almost ordered the lipsticks from Westman Atelier. Duchess Marie would highly recommend. I love them. Like, if you... If you don't mind spending $50 on a lipstick, they're so good. I feel like they're truly so unique. I'm going to give you swatches of the two that I have. So this is, I don't know how you pronounce these. It's either like Pick, Peak, P-I-Q-U-E is that one. And then every time I wear this one, I think it's Jerev, I think is how you pronounce it now. This one is the most popular like whenever I wear it everybody's like oh my god what's on your lips or when I did my initial video people liked this one better than this one but both are beautiful I'm still considering getting the it's like a peony color one but LFG I really want it it's like that hot pink oh so good let before we leave is there any products that you're wondering if like my thoughts and opinions on them if you're thinking about buying them Feel free to leave them in the chat or if you're watching the playback, leave it in the comments. I am more than happy to answer them. I'll give you guys a minute if you guys want to respond. Look at this fucking pimple though. Something so fierce. Um, oddly, I love the Too Faced Jelly Gloss Oils. They smell amazing and are very shiny and hydrating. Not the shimmer ones though. Cotton candy is my fave. I think I've seen those at Ulta, maybe. You know what's speaking to me? And I think... You know what I was hoping? I was hoping Alta would be like, you know what? We we saw that you didn't use your 20%. Let's reinstate it. That was what I was hoping for because I think the Too Faced Cream Bronzer looks so nice. Ugh. Do I have any Westman Atelier brushes? I do not. I know makeup or Mo Makeup Mo Beauty does. She would be who I would recommend for that question. But I feel like they're going to be something similar to... Um, like, refer, I would probably say, but I do not have any of those. Gonna wait for Tatcha to have friends and family. It goes up to 25% off. I don't think that's a bad idea. The main reason I got this was because it was the last one. This is the Matcha Cleanse, and it's brand new. And then I needed to replenish this anyways, but I was so psyched when I saw that there was um, the Gratitude Size. Buy refer brushes. I would highly recommend buying refer brushes. I actually think that they have a site-wide sale going on right now, maybe 40% off. I have an affiliate link in my description box for refer. I love, especially their eye brushes. And I like their, basically anything like a fluffy powder brush. I don't really use um, their, uh, basically anything that's meant for like liquids or creams. I personally prefer synthetic, but they're, Eye brushes are incredible, especially if you, if you have hooded eyes like me. Um, I wanted to get a Merit Solo Shadow, but they're all matte. See, this is what you do. You ready? I got you. I mean, it would, it would mean that you need to get a second product, but you lay down a matte first. It's more of for, I would say, longevity. And if you have, like, creasy eyelids, or, or I shouldn't say creasy eyelids. If you find that you get a lot of creasing on your eyes, this is a fantastic product to put down first because I'm telling you, it does not fucking budge. They're super easy to work with, they're long lasting, and they don't crease, at least on me. I don't have insanely oily eyelids, but I will lay this down and then I'll take something like, I'll take something like an Urban Decay Moon Dust eyeshadow. I'm just gonna use lithium because it's right here, but just fucking dab it right over the top and it's just going to give you that, it's just going to give you the longevity because these do crease. So this is where, like, this is like a double whammy. And this is almost like a, um, this effect that I'm putting together right now is almost like a Tom Ford cream and powder eye color duo. But that's, that's mainly why I love the rougher eyeshadows. Not necessarily because I think they're anything like super revolutionary because I'm not really a matte eyeshadow girly either, but I really like to have that almost like solidification that it's not going to budge because no one wants creasy eyelids, right? Nobody wants that. 
I just tried the Too Faced lip balm and I love it so good. I have to try the jelly one next. Yes. Jen said 40% off at Refer right now. Would highly recommend. And again, like I said, affiliate link in my description box. If you're interested in shopping, some of my personal favorites are the Refer number two, the Refer number three, like the Refer number one. I, I'm going to show you. The Ruffer 21. They're all fucking bomb. These are all Ruffer. You can see I use all of them. If there is a shape that is appealing to you or something that you feel like is missing in your collection, would highly recommend. This is the 14. I also really love this one. I love the 13. It's a little bit, a little bit smaller. Still, a, it's still fluffy, but you get a little bit more precision. I also really love, this is the 28. It's almost like, I'm not going to say a dupe because there's one more that's close. I think it's the 21 that's close to the Mac 242. But this one I like. This is the 28 because I feel like you guys always would see me talk about this Esum. What the fuck was this? The W21. Very similar to the Esum. They're fantastic. I recommend all refer brushes, okay? <laughs> Is Merit better than the Armani Cream Shadow and Cashew? They're different. They're different. Let me give you swatches of... I'll do mid-century because this one was um, the new one that I got. That was Social. So Social leans a little bit more purple, but mid-century is more brown. I feel like this one is going to be closer to Cashew. But... I mean, both of them don't budge it's more of just the colors that i feel are different i do feel that the packaging of the armani is better because the merit ones it's like you really have to make sure that the packaging is closed but the armani so this one's the armani this one is mid-century so the shades are kind of similar but i feel like you could really see that the finishes are different because obviously you're looking at a liquid versus a cream so i think it just depends on your preference I do recommend both. I love both. I use both. They're both fantastic. I got the new Sephora Collection Contour Stick as well. They sold out pretty quick. I started seeing those, and then by the time I looked, they were already gone. Love that. I love the Refer Mini Set. Great for small hooded eyes. Set is half price now for 60 bucks. Yeah, if you're looking at brushes, Refer would be the spot that I would go. So I think that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed my haul. If there's any questions that you guys have or recommendations or want to know my opinions, whatever, leave them in the comments down below. If you place another order, let me know what you're getting. And if you guys want a try on video, feel free. Let me know because I do plan on coming back more frequently. I just wanted to get this up tonight because I know the sale was coming to an end. So happy shopping. If you're placing another order, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up before you guys leave or thumbs it down. That's cool too. And hopefully I will see you guys in my next one. Turn on your notifications, subscribe, do all the things. See you next time. Bye.